Welcome back everybody, I'm Big Mac Davis here, and this is the Duke Nukem 3D 100% walkthrough for the PC, played through Steam on the Come Get Some difficulty. This is the 20th Anniversary World Tour, and this is Episode 2, Level 3, Warp Factor. Now before we begin the walkthrough, I'd like to give a couple of shoutouts to a couple of friends of mine. The first is to Psycho und so XD. I know I totally butchered that name, and I really do apologize for that, but his name is in the description below, so check that out. He is doing a blood walkthrough right now, very slow-paced, just like how I would do the walkthrough, so if you guys want some blood, go check that out. The second shout-out I'd like to give is to a friend of mine, Home one of YouTube. Now, I know a lot of you have wanted me to do some more Wolfenstein 3D, and I am going to get to that. But until then, you can watch some of what Home one has to offer. He is doing Adam Project right now, a Wolfenstein 3D mod. Very good, very challenging. So go check out that playlist in the description below. Anyways, let's get to the video now. All right, so do not venture out into the starting room just yet. What you want to do is toss a couple of pipe bombs to the left and right of the starting room because there is a large number of sentry drones. So yeah, in this starting room, there are four sentry drones, two on your left and two on your right, and in this cramped space, it can be really difficult to not take damage. And you can also look out the windows here to see the areas of the map that we have not been yet. And something I forgot to show off in the last video, we see the moon, but we also see this. Now this is either the oddest looking sun I've ever seen, or it is a supernova. Now I'm not sure what it is exactly, but it is a bright, shining object in the sky. So it's obviously something. <laughs> Anyways, let's proceed into the next area. Now on the right side, this hatch will open up automatically when you step inside. So I'm going to use the RPG. Yeah, that's not too good. I'm trying to not get hit by these things. And okay, I guess that's all the sentry drones in that hatch area. So now we can explore this area that we are inside of. So if we face the door we used to get here, we'll go to the right to see this elevator, and also this hatch. Hail to the king, baby. And we'll open up this armory. So yeah, just hug this hatch area to kill that sentry drone. To the right of the armory, we see this door. And it just has a couple of troopers inside, nothing too major. Hail to the king, baby. And if we look through this window, we see the generator area of the map. And that's also the exit, by the way. And so now we will explore the hatch area with the sentry drones inside of it. Finally, we come to one more elevator and one more hatch. Come get some. Okay, so the first thing to do is to go down the elevator to the right of that door. And we'll head inside this exploded area to grab an atomic health. 
Now, the atomic health over here we cannot grab right now, but we will later on, and you'll see when. Do not miss this blue access card. After all, it is very important. Okay, now when you jump on the shotgun ledge, oh, shit, so. two troopers will spawn. So just make sure that both of them die. And then we'll jump back up, and we'll grab the armor. Now when you drop down here, one more trooper will spawn. And so now over here in this corner, do not miss this. Come get the Laser trip bomb if you want it. Okay, so now we're done with this uh, downstairs area. So we'll go back up and we'll go down this elevator now. However, let's go back up the elevator. And wait for the stupid enforcer to commit suicide. I mean, <laughs> I was just thinking, how stupid are these aliens? Anyway, there's a regular door here, and then the blue key door, so let's go inside. Okay, so just like the starting area, you're going to want to toss a couple of pipe bombs to your left and right because this red hallway is just filled with sentry drones. It's so cruel. Yeah, there's nothing you can do when that crap happens. Okay, so we're just gonna run in the hallway. So yeah, basically the rule of thumb is to just try and handle this area as best you can. So now face the elevator we used to get to this hallway and we'll go to the right and we'll open up the door. And we can grab some devastator ammo inside this room. And so now we'll go down to the other side of the hallway and go through this door. Now beyond this next door is a cruel, cruel thing. So what I do is I open up the door behind me and then the door in front of me. So many sentry drones, why 3D Realms? Why make so many sentry drones in this map? Anyways, we will press the switch and that will call over a cart that we can ride. And that's so much fun to do, it's like therapeutic. <laughs> so we'll press the switch and we'll ride the cart to the other side of the map. And we'll go through the next door where we see even more Devastator ammo. Now there is a reason why they're giving us so much of this stuff. And you'll see why later on. Oh boy. Okay, I think I'll use a laser trip bomb here. Whoa! Nope, I guess I won't be using that. Because there's a captain there. Whew, that was a bit scary. I thought... Well, actually, it's not that scary, because... The laser trip bomb only works after you plant it, so... Okay, will you just... here. That's free. Why don't you go suck on that pipe bomb and just die? Thank you very much. Okay, so behind this wall, do not miss... Yeah, do not miss that son of a bitch. He can really wreck your day severely. And we see the yellow key inside here. And to open it, we must press the center switch. And... Um, we can get the yellow key card. And so now we'll go through the door at the end of this hallway. Now, what we want to do is bring out this enforcer and kill him, and then pipe bomb the second enforcer. The reason why we're doing it this way is because I don't want any enemies in this room when I back up into this room. Groovy. Because of this trap right here. Uh, okay, 
so apparently there's someone on Discord messaging me, and hello, you son of a bitch. He got in this room with me somehow. So hello on Discord, you are on my YouTubes now. Welcome. And also, don't miss this enforcer right here as well. Okay, and we will ride the elevator down to the three atomic healths that I said we'd come to later on. Okay, and we are done with this area completely, so we'll go back the way we came. And we'll ride the cart back. So yeah, whoever is messaging me on Discord land, welcome to my YouTubes. And please, don't miss that son of a gun either, he can really wreck your day. I can't see him. Oh my gosh, I shrunk him. Just die. I just randomly shot and I shrunk him. That's awesome. Anyways, we'll ride this elevator back down and now we will go through the regular door that we skipped earlier. No. And I just fire an RPG at those captains. I don't want them to teleport. <laughs> We'll press the switch, and we have access to some shotgun shells. But behind here is a non-secret area with a shrinker. There is a reason why they give us the shrinker right here. And it's for this upcoming area. But we're going to use the Devastator weapon for right now. Are you guys ready to see what we have to face around this corner? Let's see what we have to face. Oh, he must, uh, be in that area down there. Okay, this is gonna make it interesting, um, and a little bit scary, maybe. Okay, here's also a new enemy, the Assault Commander. The best way to kill them is with the Shrinker. Because they launch a rocket at you if you're not careful. Okay, so where is that enemy? And yeah, the Assault Commander is not what you want to use the Devastator on. There is actually another enemy I'm looking for somewhere. Okay, and that Sentry Drone is going to F everything up. Okay. Oh my gosh, there he is! Yes, that is a Battle Lord Sentry. Oh my gosh, the Battle Lord Sentry. Now, he's not as powerful as the Battle Lord from the end of Episode 1, but still a very dangerous foe to contend with. And you know what? Just because I can... Bitchin'. Bitchin'. In fact, I'm gonna get rid of all Battle Lord corpses, because they suck. Now, down here, where the commanders were, you can open up this door, but a force field prevents you from going further, so we'll have to come back later on. We'll grab the shotgun up here, and also up here, we can go through the yellow door. So let's do that right now. And we'll ride this conveyor belt up. I will grab the night vision goggles later on after I use the pair that I have right now in this circular room. Let's do this. Let's get it over with. This circular room is just filled with sentry drones, so handle this area however you can. So across from the door you used to get to this area, there's this door with a devastator weapon inside, so don't miss that. Now to the left of, the, of this door, 
we can open up this first aid for some first aid. <laughs> and then this lighted panel for some steroids. And then, to the right of this authorized personnel door is some freeze thrower ammo, so grab that if you need it. And I believe that's all of the items. So, now in the steroid room, we can shoot a switch and go around to the other side and come inside here. And oh my gosh, you guys, are you guys ready to see something really neat? Looks like I have the card. Welcome, everybody, to the USS Enterprise, an exact replica of the ship in Star Trek, the next generation, I believe. But yeah, it's an exact replica, and it's really neat how they were able to do this even back in 1996. So Come we'll grab the weaponry some. and the health that we need from here. Come get some. And we can look around a bit, so we see the Earth over here, and we also see, like, the really neat details with the paneling and everything here as well. And if we come up here, we see where the guys would sit up here and discuss the dangers that were on board this ship. And then this right here, if you guys remember from Star Trek, you remember Captain Picard's ready room. Well... Let's go inside the ready room, but before we do, I'd like to go at the ready room backwards, because of a trap. You bastard! Anyway, yeah, the ready room is where everybody would discuss the situations going on on board the ship. But did you guys know of one more room that was even beyond the ready room? No? You guys don't know of that room that was beyond the ready room? Well, I'm going to show you guys right now, actually. It's if you press the computer monitor, and we are about ready to enter into this room. Now, what is this room called? The really ready room. Well, how ready can we be? Is it possible to be this ready? Yeah, I guess it is possible to be this ready. Oh my gosh, now we see what the crew does in their downtime. Alcohol and booze and a freeze thrower. I'm sure there are fetishes for that somewhere and apparently the Star Trek crew has it. Now, the secret is tagged when you step up here with the Devastator weapon. And I just noticed, why is there no alien porn? It's all females. Female humans, I do not want that. Anyways, guys, I'm sorry about that. Let's get out of here before I say something I'm going to regret, maybe later on. <laughs> you guys don't need to know that much about me. I mean, really. Um, okay, he's not supposed to show up until after we leave this area, but that's okay. Okay, so the last thing to do is to find a ramp going up right here where we see the earth rising and then behind the earth we can press a switch. Now somebody told me in the comments in the last video to be on the lookout for a hurricane on this planet. But, I mean, maybe it's like right here, that cluster of clouds? I'm not sure. Um, if you guys know where the hurricane is, please let me know in the comments below, even if there is not one. Let me know. I'd like to get to the bottom of that. <laughs> Anyways, we'll go up here and we will open up the map of the, of the Earth. And we'll toss a couple pipe bombs inside. and we'll kill both enforcers that way. Grab the RPG, and then across from the RPG is a non-secret area with a holoduke inside, so grab that if you need it. Now hug to the area to the left of the security monitor, and then over here on the left side as well to kill both sentry drones. We'll press the switch, and that switch will lower down the force field that you saw earlier, where, there, where those, um, commanders were. What? 
These guys are not supposed to come out until after we leave, which we're going to do right now. So yeah, there's supposed to be three enforcers inside this room, but there's only one. Okay, so we'll go back to where the commanders were. And we will go through the door. Now, the floor right here is hazardous, so I like to use the jetpack to fly over without taking damage. And then we'll land right here. And if you look up, oh my gosh, that makes me so dizzy. My goodness. And if we look up, when all three of the spinning things are open to you, like they're not visible, <clears throat> you'll be able to see something very peculiar. When will the hole be visible? My goodness. That's what she said, right? <laughs> yeah, you see those floating atomic health there for a second. There is no way to grab those. I have tried and tried and tried, and there is no way to grab them. So we'll wait for all three of the spinning things to disappear. I could have had my chance there, but I didn't. I wanted to, but that's all right. We'll jump in and we'll go down the lift. Now, there's three enforcers here, and for some reason, and I don't know the reason why, I always kill 85 of 84 enemies. I'm not sure what the deal is, but we are done with this map. This map, yeah, I mean, the design is good, it's neat, it's not my favorite map though, it's not memorable. Like, I don't remember this map in conversations that I've had with friends of mine, you know, constantly being brought up. The only thing that I remember of this map is literally the USS Enterprise secret areas. That's it. Everything else, I don't remember. Because there's just too many sentry drones in this map. It doesn't make it enjoyable. It makes it annoying, I guess is the right word I'm looking for. It's a neat map. I mean, I like the cart going back and forth and stuff, and I like the USS Enterprise secrets. But that's it. Everything else I don't really enjoy. It's kind of slow-paced. It's kind of not memorable. But, you know, it's Warp Factor. They tried, and it's a really good map. I do enjoy some parts of it. Uh, again, the USS Enterprise secret, the ready room, and the really ready room. Oh, yeah. Boy, Captain Picard. I don't know, man. He's... <laughs> just... There's something about him that is a little off. You know what I mean, right? I don't know what else to say about this map, except that, yeah, it's just, uh, it's not memorable, except for the USS Enterprise. I mean, that's it. Okay, and Duke says that's enough, so we'll move on to Fusion Station in the next video of Duke Nukem 3D. So until that next video, I'm Big Mac Davis here, and I will see you guys next time. Take care, everybody.